people look at FEMA as the, the government organization, but it takes a lot more than that. It takes a lot more of the, of the public getting involved, all the various contractors. It also involves the civil, civilian population getting involved in too. And this is a classic example of that. FEMA reached out to me and asked me if our airport would be able to accommodate um, their resources. Um, I told them at the time that this is a really good opportunity because right now the runway is closed. And so that being said, we don't have any aircraft here in the hangars and our apron space is wide open. So very quickly afterwards, they began arriving here with their uh, response units. FEMA has actually put the logistics together and brought in these various air crews and ambulance drivers from all over the country. And then Spanberg has had the opportunity to be able to host that uh, type of staging here that's going on. So not only do we provide, you know, the staging here, we have to make sure that these folks here are taken care of from a food perspective, from accommodation, rental cars, all the other amenities that they need. American Medical Response actually contracts uh, with FEMA for their ambulance provider. Here in Spartanburg, we have about 450 providers. Spartanburg downtown airport has been extremely accommodating for all of our operations um, and all of the units that are responding to the hurricane. Uh, we were in the hurricane response last year for Harvey all the way down into Florida. Um, we responded to the California wildfires, so anytime uh, that FEMA contracts with us and contacts us for ambulance support, we show up. It's bigger than us, you know, if, uh, if I needed help, I would want somebody to leave their family to come help us. So that's why I feel it's really important. I have the capabilities and ability to leave and come help people who need it. While we're deployed here, uh, our mission can vary from doing evacuations from facilities to actually assisting the local 911 uh, services when they become overrun. It, it brings a feeling of great joy and satisfaction just knowing that we're out there helping people that really, really need to be helped. In the future, uh, hopefully, um, this is my first uh, time doing a FEMA relief like this, but the airport had experiences in the past. We have hurricanes in the Florida in the past where military aircraft were flown up here to, be, to get out of the way of the hurricane. So this is not the first time that Spartanburg's been used as a kind of a location for staging. But as an airport and as a public place, you know, we train here for all sorts of situations, whether it's an influx of aircraft or the public. And so having the opportunity to work with FEMA in this response is uh, a great opportunity for us to be able to help them.